Hey guys, so this is the first video in a series of tutorial videos that's going to teach you how to script on Roblox uh, if you're an absolute beginner. So if you're a bit more advanced and know the concepts already, I advise you skip a couple of videos, I guess, because this is like aimed for the very, very like unknowledgeable people about scripting. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can navigate Roblox Studio. Okay. The most important uh, windows are Explorer, Output, and Properties. Okay, you can open these if they're already not opened by going to View and just click on, well, whatever I have open. Okay, now they may be laid out differently. This may be here, for example, this may be down here. Just drag it around according to your preference. Okay, it's not important. It, this is just uh how i like my things laid out um so yeah now the explorer tab this basically contains things called services okay now imagine this you have a folder at home with multiple categories okay like uh you have a folder for school and one of the category is maths then English and so on. This is just the same thing, but imagine that the folder is your game, okay? And all of these services are different um, categories, okay? These are things which the game needs to function. If you, well, you can't remove them because, you know, it'll give you an error, but uh, if the game does not have workspace, for example, it will not function okay just this, these are just things which you need to understand that like the game needs to, to function properly okay now this here is the ribbon bar okay use this to navigate around um, obviously there's the view tab here which you should already have opened if you haven't had any of these open yet um, home you can just move around and stuff with this tool for example you know this is just a series about scripting so i'm not going to go in how you can use these tools because these are mostly used for building okay one of the most important things that you need to know how to do is how to actually test your scripts okay so if you go to home or test it's this i'm referring to this button here and click play you're going to spawn your character okay now, if you have a script in your game, it will not work unless you click play, okay? So this is just basically how you test your game. You can also test your game by clicking underneath play on this little arrow here and click run. So this is basically the same thing, but it just doesn't spawn your character. So if I wanted to just drag a zombie from the free model section here, and just see how it works and I click run see how it uh, started actually moving and working that's because the scripts were ex actually like executed okay because you click play or run if you stop it everything will revert back to normal okay now output is another super important explorer tab I mean a tab Okay, anything uh, which the scripts communicate with, uh, anything that you print, for example, or any errors or bugs that your game has will be displayed in output. Okay, I'm going to go in more depth on output in the next uh, episode of this series. So this is just basically... Uh, how you can use Roblox Studio's interface and if you're wondering how you can get the dark theme that I have here uh, you just go to file and then settings and just search around for a dark tick box okay and then you have dark theme so this is the end of this episode and I'm gonna get right on making the next episode on how you can actually use comments print and declare variables Thanks for watching.